Well, another rainy day, but I figure I'd just show some progress. Uh, this is time consuming if anybody's attempting this. No, it isn't quick. So I just kind of did one half of the transom. Peeled it down pretty much to the glass, all the way up inside that little area. That's kind of what some of the wood looks like. A little bit of glass stuck to it. My guess, uh, well, what I'm going to do is sand or get a grinder uh, with a good disc on it and get rid of all the wood. And then if I could find someplace warm or in the springtime, I will glass this hole back with 1708 first. Then I will add my ply, uh, marine grade ply. Yeah, just a quick little kind of see where I'm at, kind of show some progress. Shows the timeline that this actually is uh, the stringers. I can't see giving me as much of an issue as this, um, but getting this removed kind of properly without causing too much damage is slow. And looking up here, you know what, I might remove this cap in the summertime once I'm done everything and kind of get some new hardware in here. Uh, new piece of wood there. It runs along the rail where it bolts into. And then, which I'm guessing, uh, I'm kind of gonna kind of ruin that. Obviously new hardware all up here, but I'll have to get a rubber rubber rub rail. But we'll see. And another question for anybody out there that has one of these glass trons or glass crafts. Uh, that bow in the back, is that the way it they came, you believe? Or was that actually flat at one point? And then just over the years, the weight kind of... I don't know how this will affect the camera, but... So it has quite a bit of flex in it when there's no wood on it. So I'm wondering if that just flexed over the years and created that kind of bubble butt on it. Or was that in the design? I'm guessing it was should be flat, because how else do you get that plywood in there? Um, like these have a little bit of an angle on them, these back edges. But then I would suspect it goes flat from back corner to back corner. That bubble, I'm guessing, is flex over the years. That's where I'll put some, uh, once I get the, if I do it flat, I'm guessing I'm going to do it flat. There's no other way around it. Um, I'll put some knee braces back there, and that should eliminate that from ever bubbling out again. Unless that's design, and if it is... It's kind of, a, kind of an odd design, I, I would think. Anyway, I'm going to get a tarp and cover this up. I don't want to get everything completely soaking wet, especially the glass, I'm not sure. You know, I'm going to sand it all down and stuff, but I don't want to do that unless it's, unless it's dry. So I'll get a tarp over here and try to keep my work area as dry as possible in a fucking rainforest, pretty much on Victoria Island in the winter. <laughs> yeah. Got a couple of trees to protect me, but she rains all the time. So, and I can't really fit it in my my little cabin I got here. I might be able to get most of it in the back, but not so much. So, anyway, that's where I'm at now. If anybody's following this, please leave some comments. Give me some ideas or what you experienced or thoughts how the build should go. Um, never did this before, so everything is just what I find online, kind of research, trying to you know do find some valid valid um, information because there's so much out there um, to try to find true boat building information is quite difficult. I got a couple. Uh, Good comments on that sports fishing BC, but um, definitely always looking for ideas. 
Supposedly this used to be an old police boat. I'm not sure. I tried to find the numbers, but I couldn't track anything down with these numbers. So I'm not too sure. And I know uh, I was at work with a guy, and he has an old one of these, same, pretty much same year. He says it was an old police boat. But in the front here, they had a uh, piece of metal, aluminum channel. That went all the uh, all the way down uh, the bottom there, so they could beach it. But it's a good looking boat. There's not too many issues with it at all. Like outside. It's, I'm guessing this glass is pretty thick. Anyway, the more ideas the better. Uh, please leave some comments. Um, again, like I said, this is the first time I'm doing this. So I want to do it right. I want to do this justice and have this boat safe that meets code. Once I get into the electrical, I'll follow all those, uh, I forget the standards name, uh, ABCY, I believe it is. But other than that, I also want to follow all the other standards and just create something here that, uh, that will last and be good to myself and anybody else in the future. All right, cheers, have a good day. See you later.